Well, it is 643 and it is Thursday and that means we get a chance to yell at Kate Welsh over. Hey, what is that? Well, that question has seemingly endless answers and it landed Kate this week somewhere between fact and fiction. Lockport's Upside Down Bridge. What is that? Well, BuzzFeed called it one of the weirdest things in New York State. It got a solid, very good rating by tourists on TripAdvisor. A number of contributors there and on RoadsideAmerica.com say it's just a great big mystery. There are all kinds of stories about this topsy-turvy western New York attraction. Down is up and up is down. Who knows why? Craig Bacon, Deputy Niagara County Historian. Craig Bacon. Just like the food, just as awesome. Craig Bacon knows why, and he'll be the first one to tell you this whole upside down bridge thing is good old fashioned Western New York bull. Uh, hogwash. Let's go with hogwash. The upside down bridge is not actually upside down. No. At all. No. It's a wonderful story. We could just drop the mic there and I'll go home, but who doesn't love a wonderful story? There's a lot of urban myths about it. They built it upside down to impede canal traffic. They didn't. It's one of the highest clearances on the canal. Some guy told me a couple years ago the reason they built it upside down was to stop planes from flying underneath it. He was wrong. It was built in 1902, which is over a year before the Wright brothers flew their first airplane at Kitty Hawk. There's a lot of stories. So what's the real story? Well, first of all, the bridge was born this way. It's a Baltimore deck truss design. What makes it look weird actually makes it more versatile. It actually allowed them to have a narrower bridge and they can put wider loads across while having to worry about the train becoming derailed because of the superstructure above it. So how did that other story get started? Let's just say it was the 1970s. <laughs> Already capitalizing on the canal, creative marketing minds saw an opportunity to turn convention on its head and for the bridge to carry much more than just trains through Lockport. A tourist attracting legend was born. The rest is slightly more intriguing history. We come across that a lot with, with history. Everyone tries to embellish, even with our own histories. We talk about things that happened when we were kids and it's always a little bit farther of a jump. Making the work of historians like Craig all the more important and the discovery of places like Lockport and it's not so upside down bridge all the more interesting. What is that? Depends on how you look at it. There's so much out there and if you start with an upside down bridge maybe you'll branch out to find other things. And the upside to all of this is the unusual bridge and of course the canal have attracted lots of people to Lockport and they're certainly happy to welcome them. And thank goodness for all those people who embellish stories over the years. I know it makes things interesting and thank you too to the uh, to Craig and all the historians. They were so I mean I could have stayed in that office all day. They've got a million and one stories, so that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Too. I ever tell you about the time I, I jumped over 50 cars on a motorcycle. <laughs> oh Pete we don't have enough time for your stories right. my friend. <laughs> all right Kate Thanks, thank Kate. you. you